Hello, good morning everyone. Hi Minchu. Hi Gigi, welcome. Good morning, morning. Who do we have today? Who do we have this morning? Anyone from elsewhere besides Singapore? Just wondering. Kind of want to see how big the community is now. Hi, morning Connie. Morning Jurisa. Thank you. I love your smile too. I hope all of you guys are smiling. Kind of pouring outside in Singapore now, if you're not in Singapore. Nice and good to stay in for Yin Yang class. So I'm going to guide you through. Good morning everyone. My name is Jeannie. So for Yin Yang class, um, we still have some time while we wait for others to kind of log in. Perhaps let me explain what this class is. So for Yin Yang class, um, we begin with the Yang part. The Yang part is more of the active poses. And then followed by the Yin part, which we hold the poses slightly longer, about 3 to 5 minutes, sometimes even 8 minutes long. So depend on um, the parts of the body that we are opening. So for the Yin, for the yin part mostly, we try to kind of stretch out the connect, connective tissues in the body, which always holds a lot of tension. These areas are normally the hips, the shoulders, you know, the lower part of the body. So we hold this poses slightly longer to open it up. Alright? So good morning JP as well, I see you. Good morning Jenny. Good morning Phyllis. Alright, so for today, um, just now I was at um, last minute, I was kind of asking, you know, what do you guys um, want to open up today? So I have requests about hips, so we're going to work on hips today. I have also requests on shoulders, so let's add in a little bit of shoulders as well. So today the focus will be on hips and shoulders, okay? Just a quick check, um, can you guys hear me loud and clear? Because of the rain, I can hear some rain in my apartment, so I was just wondering whether you can hear me loud and clear together with the background music as well. If I step back a little bit more, just kind of to check, can you hear me now? Is that loud and clear enough? Just let me know. Okay, great JG, thank you very much. Alright, so I think we can kind of wait for a few more seconds and then we can begin. Thank you, Masako. Alright, so um, we'll step off the medium part and then subsequently we'll hold um, a lot of poses, focusing on hips and shoulders in the yin, yin part. Okay, JG, you expect you want glutes as well. Let me see what I can add in, alright? Sometimes depends on the time, alright? Let me see what I can add in hips, shoulders and glutes, okay? So if you are ready, we can begin now. Today we begin in white knees child's pose, okay? So come to your mat. Um, just also a very quick check, sorry, before we begin. If you have any soft pillows or little blankets that you like to use, you can always place it by the side. If you have a block as well, then if you have tight hamstrings, you might also wish to use a block. Alright? So get your equipment ready. If you have a bolster, you can also take it. Go ahead. So white knees, child's pose. Open the knees out wide. Open the knees, mat distance apart. Bring the big toes together to touch. Stretch your arms forward and lower the head down to a cement. I'll soften the music for a start. So you can feel me. Now stretch your arms forward. Allow the chest to melt between the thighs. Start to stretch out the front of the body. Feeling the hands heavy, the hips heavy. Start with your deep breath. Keeping the eyes closed, finding stillness before we begin. Deepen the breath in and out through the nose. And just allowing gravity to do its work to start. Stretch your arms forward, sit the hips back and down. Deep breath in through the nose, feel the belly balloons up, bring the belly closer to the thighs. And as the exhale, drawing the belly away from the mat. Expel out all the stale air from last week, over the weekend, releasing tension in the body. Deep breath in through the nose, 
Follow the belly again one more time with fresh oxygenated air. Hold it here. And exhale it out completely, releasing the tension in the body. And start to work towards creating mental space, let of your thoughts. Clearing the mind. Telling yourself to dedicate the next 60 minutes to your practice. And just you on your mat. Now if the front of the body starts to open up a little bit more, so you can bring the chin on the mat. Start to stretch out the front. And look forward. Look at the finger pads. Press on the finger pads. Now lift the palms off the mat. So you can lift the elbows and the wrists off the mat. So if you create more space between your hands and the mat, creating more space, you can melt the chest down further down to the mat as you stretch the front of the body open. Crawl the fingertips forward a little bit more, stretch out the side body, sit the hips back and down. Deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, open the mouth out to side out. Through the nose, inhale. Open the mouth side out. One more deep breath, heel. Side out. Now slowly, gently blink your eyes open. And walk your hands back. Come up to a seat. Bring your knees together to touch. Now join the palms together, thumbs to the heart center. If you'd like to set an intention before we begin, go ahead. Perhaps think about something that can guide you through this week. Something that can keep you focused. Something that you are working towards perhaps. And using this intention to guide you through your practice. With your intention set, gently bow forward, thumbs to the eyebrow center. Blink your eyes open. Namaste everyone. Enjoy your practice. Now find your down facing dog to begin. Hips up, heels down. So spread the fingers out wide. Push the top of the mat away from you, lifting the hips, grounding the heels down. Now first down dog, the light can stretch it out by paddling the feet, bending the knees one by one, grounding the heels down alternatively. Feel the hamstring stretch. If you'd like to stretch on the side body, you can also drop the heels side to side, side to side. Twisting the torso, start to open the body, waking it up. Monday morning, you might still feel a little bit stiff, do what you need to. And slowly, finding stillness in the downward facing dog. Spread the fingers out wide, push top of the mat away from you, bring your belly closer to the thighs. Tuck the tailbone under. Now imagine a line of energy from your palms towards the hips. So push and lift the hips up high and sending this energy from the hips down to the heels as you ground the heels down, draw the inner thighs back. Stretching the hamstrings. If the hamstrings are tight, keeping the knees soft. Otherwise, straighten the legs. Hold it here for three. Stay with the breath. Two. And one. Now feet together, heels up high the heel. Bend the knees, exhale, belly to the thighs. Push top of the mat away from you. Stay here. Look forward, plank in heel. Shake the weight forward. Stack shoulders on top of the wrist. Squeeze the kneecap nice and tight. Now hips and line the shoulders. Push into the palms. Protract the shoulders around the back. Squeezing the kneecap nice and tight. Hold it here for one more deep breath in heel. Now exhale, lower the knees down. Shift the weight forward slightly. Bend the elbows. Place the chest between the thumbs, knees, chest, chin pose, eight point pose. Untuck the toes, glide forward to your baby cobra, keeping the elbows bent. Roll the shoulders back and down, gaze up. Tuck the toes, exhale the press back, down with facing dog. Take one deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, now stretch your leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog. Point your right toes up, stretch it up high, keep the left heel up high as well. Hold it here, feel the hamstring stretch. Hips starts to open, legs starts to open, hold it here. Deep breath as you inhale. Now knee to the right wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch the right wrist. Stack the shoulders on top of the wrist like a flank. Inhale to keep the right leg up, three legged dog, point the right toes up, keep the left heel up high. 
Knee to the right elbow. Exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Now, knee to the right tricep. Pull it up high. So you can bring it up high. Close the armpit. Shift the weight forward. Squeeze heel to the bum. Hold it. Strong core. Three, two, one. Step the right foot outside the right hand. Stretch right hand up to the ceiling. Open the chest. Reach up. Lean back. Now, keep the back knee off the mat. Back leg strong. Squeeze left knee. Keep nice and tight. Push left thigh up to the ceiling. Stretch right hand up. Lean back further. Now keep all of this. Place right hand on top of the right knee. Push the right knee away from you. Come to the outer edge of the right foot. Float the inner right arch of the mat. Sink the hips down low, but do not collapse on the back leg. Left knee squeeze nice and tight. Left heel stacks on top of the left toes. Sink the hips down low. Start to open the hips and stretch out the inner thighs. Straighten the arms. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Hold it here. Chest up high for three, two, one. Hands down, kick the right leg up. Now three leg dog and then the right knee open the hips. Start to ground the left heel down, feel the left hamstring stretch. Level the shoulders by pressing the right armpit down towards the mat a little bit more. Squeeze right heel to the left butt cheek, open the right knee up high into the ceiling. Now keep all of this, only straighten the right leg. Try to touch the right toes towards the left side of your room. Open the pelvis, open the hips. Keep pressing the right shoulder down, level the shoulders. One more deep breath here. Straighten the right leg inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Now knees, chest, chin down, eight point pose, exhale. Untuck the toes, full cobra, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, gaze up. Tuck the toes, exhale and press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left and stretch up, three little dog. Point the left toes up to the sling, stretch up between the thighs and hamstrings. Keep the left leg straight, point the left toes up like you're trying to touch the sling. Keep the right heel up high, reach up and heel. Now knee to the left wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch stack shoulders on top of the wrist. Inhale to kick the left leg up, three little dog. Knee to left elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three little dog. Knee to the left tricep, draw it up high, so you can touch the left armpit, hold it there. Squeeze the heel to the bottom, three, two, one. Step left foot outside the left hand, keep the right leg straight, stretch right left and up in heel. Open the chest, lean back as exhale. Same with the twist. Now keep the right leg strong, squeeze the right knee, cap nuts and tight. Push the right thigh up to the ceiling. Reach left hand up high, open the chest, keeping all of this. Place left hand on top of the left knee. Sink the hips down low, push the left knee away from your chest. Come to the outer edge of the left foot. Float the inner right leg arch of the mat. Straighten the arms, chest up, hips down. Now you should feel the left glute stretch a little bit as well. And start to open the hips. Back leg strong, one more deep breath, heel. Hands down as exhale. Keep the left leg up, three legged dog and heel. Bend the left knee, open the hips as exhale. Ground the right heel down to the mat. Feel the right hamstring stretch. Squeeze left heel to the butt. Now level the shoulders by pressing the left up and down. Keeping all of this, open the left knee up higher. Then slowly straighten the left leg up to the right. Straighten only the left leg. Then you're trying to touch the right side of your room. At the same time, keep pressing the left shoulder down. Open the pelvis further. One more deep breath. Straighten the left leg in heel, down, foot facing dog, exhale. Plank in heel. Now your choice of Inyasa, Chaturanga, Dandasana, or knees, chest, chin, down as an exhale. Inhale to up dog or cobra, in up dog thighs off the mat, chest forward, roll the shoulders back. Tuck the toes, exhale, press back. Down, foot facing dog, one breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop lightly forward. Come to the top of the mat. Half lift the length of the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale to bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift the length of the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Now step the right leg back. 
Low the right knee down, low lunge, arm jagging as nurse, stretch your arms up in here, reach up, lean back as exhale. Allow your time to sit into the pose by bending the left knee. Stretch your arms up and back, maybe you bring the arms behind the ears, deepening the back bend, chest up. One breath heel, hands down, step back to your downward facing dog as exhale. Plank inhale, your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, or chest chin as exhale. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Now feet together. Heels up high. Stretch your right leg up. Three legged dog. Knee to the nose. Exhale. Shift the weight forward to touch and hold for three, two, one. Step right foot forward. Left knee down. Low lunge. Arm genius nurse. Stretch your arms up and go. Reach up, lean back, exhale. Opening the chest, straighten the arms back more, bend the right knee. Sing the hips down low. One breath, kneel. Hands down, step the left foot forward, forward, fold as you exhale. Inhale to rise, palms touch, lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, step left leg back, lower the left knee down, low lunge, arm genius, nose, stretch your arms up and heel, reach up, lean back. Again, bend the right knees, sit the hips down low, feel the front of the left thigh stretch. Opening the right hip flexor, stretch your arms up and back, one more breath, heel. Hands down, step back, down, foot fixing dog, as exhale. Plank, inhale. Your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin, exhale. Inhale to up down cobra, chest forward, roll the shoulders back. Tap the toes, exhale, press back. Down, with facing down, one breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three legged dog. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch and hold, three, two, one. Step left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge, arm genius nurse, stretch your arms up. Again, see, you can deepen the back bend. But keep the chest up high. Try not to double the weight on the lower back. Straighten the arms. Reach back further for one more breath. Heel. Hands down. Step the right foot forward. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale to rise. Palms touch. Lean back. Arch back into your back bend. Exhale. Bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Half lift. Lengthen the spine. Heel. Exhale to fold, step right leg back, lower the right knee down, low lunge, arm geniusness, sink hips down low, stretch your arms up high. Now stay here, this time grab the elbows each other, or walk the hands down closer to the shoulders, push the head into the forearms if you can, lean back, arch back. Now focusing the back bend at the same time, stretching out the front of the body further by squeezing the shoulder blades more. Chest up higher, reach up and lean back. One more breath, kneel. Hands down. Now keep the left leg up to your three legged dog. Hold the left toes up to the ceiling. Stretch it up high as inhale. Knee to the left tricep. Exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up. Three legged dog. Knee to the nose. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up. Three legged dog. Knee to the right tricep. Touch and hold it here. Now keep the left leg up. Bend the knee, open hip, side plank. Stack the left foot on top of the right. Then stretch left and up the ceiling. Now if this is challenging for you, you can always lower the right knee down like this. Or step the left foot in front of the right knee. Push down, hips up high, sweep the left bicep body. Feel the side body stretch. One more breath, kneel. Place the hands down, plank as you exhale. Deep breath, inhale in your plank. Exhale, choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, only chest chin. Inhale to up double cobra. Exhale to press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together. Heels up high. Stretch your right leg up to the sling. Three legged dog. Inhale. Now knee to the right wrist. Exhale to touch. Inhale. Keep the right leg up. Three legged dog. Knee to the right elbow. Exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right tricep, pull it up high, touch and hold it here. Now step right foot outside the right hand, 
spin the back heel down into warrior one leg. But it's a wider stance. So if I show you from the front, you'll look like this. So the both heels are not in one line, bend the right knee, sing the hips down low. Stretch your arms up high. Now release hands behind you, interlace the fingers, pull the knuckles back, chest up, straighten the arms as you heel. Exhale, bow, inside the right thigh, humble warrior. So you have more space, you can bring the right shoulder inside the right thigh. Two more times, inhale, pull yourself back up, lean back, arch back, stretch back, keep the right knee bent. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. One more time, inhale, stretch up, lean back, chest up. Exhale, bow forward, stay in your humble warrior. Now start to feel the hips open and keep pressing down towards the outer edge of the left foot. Draw the outer right hip back towards the inner left thigh, scissors the inner thighs. So you can touch the forehead down a bit more. Stay here or look towards the right side. So you can bring the left hand, the hands towards the left side of the room and touch the left ear down to the mat. If you feel the shoulders start to open, peel the right shoulder up to the ceiling. Hold it here for one more deep breath here. Now hands down, step back, flow through vinyasa of your choice. If you're tired, skip a vinyasa and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Stretch your right leg up, right leg up to the ceiling. Now knee to the nose, exhale, shift away from the toe. Circle the knee, open the hips as you inhale. Knee to the nose to touch and hold. Three, two, one. Step right foot forward, left knee down, low lunge. Arch on your stance, stretch your arms up and heel. Reach up, lean back, shine hot. Not too long, just one more breath, heel. Hands down, step the left foot forward, forward fold as you exhale. Inhale to rise, palm touch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale the bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the flow, step left leg back. Lower the left knee down, low lunge, arm genius, now stretch your arms up. Now stay here, grab your elbows each other, the other four arms on top this time, if you can remember. Now pull the fingertips down towards the shoulders, so you can push your head into the forearms, bring the arms back behind the ears, chest up and lean back. Arching the spine. Now keep the right knee bent. Sing it down low. Lean back. Look up, arch back for one more deep breath. Yell. And exhale, hands down. Now kick the right leg up. Three legged dog. Stretch the right leg up, nestling. Point the right toes and heel. Knee to the right tricep. Exhale, bring it up high to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up. Three legged dog. Knee to the nose. Exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three leg dog. Now knee to the left, tricep to turn and hold, pull it up high, hold it there. Inhale, kick the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hips. Now stack the right foot on top of the left, side plank, stretch right hand up to the ceiling. Push down, lift the hips up high, you know your modification if you need to. Lower the left knee down to the mat. Or step the right foot in front of the left knee. Otherwise, stacking the feet, strong side plank, sweep the right bicep by the Push down the left hand, stretch your right side body long. Hold it here for one more deep breath, heel. Hands down to plank as you exhale. Sing a plank, one breath, heel. Exhale to your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, on your chest chin. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to press back, down, one facing dog, one breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Now stretch your left leg up, three leg up and heel. Knee to the left, wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the left, elbow, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the left, tricep, bring it up high, touch and hold it there. Now step the left foot outside the left hand. Spin the right heel down, remember your white stance, I'm going to show you from the side this time. Now bend the knee, so there should be a gap between the left foot and the right foot from behind in the middle. Bend the left knee, in a wider stance it's harder to square the hips but try, keep pulling the outer left hip back, press upon the right hip forward, bend the left knee, stretch your arms up. Warrior one, wider stance. Now release the hands by the side. 
In today's fingers behind you, switching it with the other thumbs on top. Straighten the arms, squeeze each other a bit, chest up, look up, lean back and heel. Exhale, bow forward, bring the left shoulder inside the left thigh, forehead touching the mat. You have more space, so no excuse to rest the belly on the left thigh. Bring the left shoulder inside. Now inhale, pull yourself up, keep the knee bent, chest up, hold the knuckles back, look up. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. One more time, inhale, pull yourself, reach up, lean back, arch back, chest up. Exhale, bow forward inside the left thigh. Now see if you can deepen the pose by bending the left knee, touch the forehead down. Now try not to open the right hip out. So press the front right hip forward as you draw the outer left hip back. Press down for the towards the outer edge of the right foot. Feel the inner right arch lift. Stay or adding a twist, look towards the left side. Bring the right heel to touch the mat as you reach the right hand, the right knuckles towards the right side of the room. Hold it here for three, two, one. Release hands down, step back, flow through your vinyasa. If you're tired, option to skip your vinyasa. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. In your down dog, take one breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three little dog, as you heel, knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Circle the knee, open hips and heel, knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold for three, shift the weight forward more, two, one step, left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge, find your arm janyasana. Stretch your arms up and heel, chest up, arms back as you exhale. Hold it here, stretch back further for one breath, heel. Hands down, step the right foot forward, forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. Inhale to rise, palms touch, lean back, arch bend into a back bend. Exhale to bow, forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Then knees, Uttanasana, chair pose, sit hips down low, reach your arms up high. Now weight towards the heels, tap the tailbone under. Arms up higher, sit down lower, one breath in heel. Exhale, bow forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale, the fold, now step a hop back. Flow through your vinyasa, chaturanga, only shashin. Exhale, inhale to your up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, down, with this enough, final breath, deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three leg dog. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Circle the knee, open the hips, now stay here or flip into your wall thing. Touch the ball of the right foot down behind you, be careful of the things. Straighten the left leg, chest up. So you can touch the right fingertips down, find your wall thing. Opening the chest, one more deep breath, kneel. Hands down, keep the right leg up, three leg dog. Knee to the nose as you exhale, rounding, squeeze. Option to stay here or three legged chaturanga. Bend the elbow, straighten right leg back and heel. Knee to the nose to touch and hold for three, two, one. Step right foot forward, press and lunge. Not too long, just for transition. Bend right knee, stretch your arms up high as you inhale. Now open up to your warrior two, spin the left heel down, spread the arms apart, right hand forward, left hand back. Bend right knee, sit hips down low. Chest up, spine straight, look towards right hand. Lean forward, flip the right palm in heel, reverse warrior exhale. Left hand to the back leg, sweep right bicep by the ear. Lean back, arch back, stretch back. One more deep breath, kneel. Back to the center, warrior two. Now straighten the right leg. Walk the left foot in, one step, find your tree kanasana. Lean towards the right hand, hips back. Right hand down on the right shin and stretch left hand up. Now, if you are more open, you can release the right fingertips down towards the outside right foot. Make sure both legs are straight. So, squeezing the knee can nice and tight. Now, the energy does not collapse down, so keep the energy up. Stretch left and up. Hold it here. One more deep breath and heel. As you exhale, place the left hand on the left hip. Find your half on pulse. Walk the right fingertips forward. Shift the weight towards the right leg slowly. Put the left leg up. Now, if the right leg cannot be straightened, grab your block or your water bottle, place it underneath the right hand. 
extension of the arms with the block or the props that you use, then squeeze the right knee nice and tight. Once already, extend the left hand up to the ceiling. Flex the left toes. Sit a little bit up higher. Opening the hips here. Option to stay or chapasana. Bend the left knee, reach back, drop the ankle and kick. Heel away from the back. Keep the twist, hold it here. One more deep breath, yo. As I exhale, release both hands down towards the mat here. Lengthen the spine here. Step the feet together. Forward fold as you exhale. Top of the mat in here. Rise. Palms touch. Lean back. Arch back. Exhale. Bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Half lift. Lengthen the spine here. Exhale the pose. Step or hop back. Flow through your choice vinyasa, chaturanga, only shashin, exhale. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back to your down towards facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Just one more set to go. Stay with me. Now feet together, heels up high. Left leg stretch up, three legged dog. Reach up high as you inhale. Now knee to the left, tricep, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg the dog. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up. Now bend the knees, open hips as you exhale. Squeeze left heel towards the right butt cheek. Option to stay here or flip into your wild thing. Ball of the left leg behind you, chest up. Left bicep body here, stretch your arms up and back. Find your wild thing. Keep the left heel up high. One more deep breath, inhale. Hands down, kick the left leg up. Three leg the dog. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and stay. Or three little chandranga if you feel strong, straighten the left leg back, bend the elbows. Knee to the nose to touch and hold for three, two, one. Find the crescent lunge for transition. Step the left foot lightly between the hands, stretch your arms up and heel. Bend the left knee, sit down low as exhale. Not too long, just for one more breath and heel. Exhale, warrior two, spin the right heel down, spread the arms apart. Left hand forward, right hand back, spine straight in the center, scoop the sit bone under. Look towards the left hand, lean towards the left hand, flip the left arm heel, keep the legs like this, reverse warrior exhale. Now keep the bed, left knee bent. Right fingertips stays on the right leg and slide it down as you stretch the left hand back. Do not rest the weight on the right hand, very lightweight. You want to keep the chest lifted and stretch the left hand back further. Hold it here. One more breath, sit down a bit lower, bend the left knee. Inhale to rise up, warrior two, now straighten the left leg. Walk the right foot in one step, find the tree kinasana, triangle pose, lean towards the left hand, hips back, left hand down, right hand stretch up to the ceiling. Now if you can even the pose, place the left in the pants outside the left foot, but keep stretching the right hand up, so you're not collapsing down. Roll the left shoulder forward, stretch the left hand, right hand up to the ceiling. One more deep breath, inhale. Right hand on the right hip as exhale. Look down towards the left foot. Crawl the left finger press forward and float the right leg up. Flex the right foot. Then use the right hand to peel the hip open. So the toe should be pointing towards the right side of the room. Now again, if you need a block, place a block or water bottle or prop underneath the left hand if the left hip is not straight. Once you're ready, extend the right hand up to the swing half moon pose. Think of stacking the right shoulder on top of the left because you want to open and twist so you're not collapsing down. Stay or bend the right knee, reach back, chapasana, grab the right ankle and kick. Heel away from the bum. Now notice I'm still looking at you, that means I'm still twisting. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Release gently to your half moon pose. Both hands down to the mat, square the hips. Then step the right foot forward, forward fold as you exhale. Inhale the rise, palms touch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. One more round to end the young part, exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel, exhale the fold, now step a hop back, your last vinyasa, flow it through. Chaturanga, Omni Shashin. Inhale to up double cobra, exhale, press back. Down, one facing down. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Now lower the knees down to the mat. Sit up. Sit the hips to the heels. That was our yin part. 
So we begin the yin part for now. So if you have a simple body, if you need to, you set yourself and then we can begin. So focusing on hips, the first pose. I'd like you to come back to your downward facing dog first. Once you're ready, I'm going to face you now, all right? Press, hips up, heels down. All right, find the down dog and stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. All right, point the right toes up and heel. As you exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. Lower the left knee down to the mat. Now find your lizard pose with variation. So keep the left knee down to the mat because we're going to hold here for three minutes. All right. So sink the hips down though. If this is already challenging for you, stay here. It can lower down, lower the forearms down to the mat. Find the lizard pose. If you lower the forearms down, you can still deepen the pose. Think of sliding the left toes back. All right. Now look at my right knee. It's close to my right shoulder. It's not spraying out to the side. So I want you to ground the right foot first for a start. Later we might open up, but now I want to keep it close and draw the outer right hip back. So this will also stretch out the glutes. JJ want to stretch out the glutes as well, right? So hug the right knee in closer and draw the outer right hip back. All right, then four arms down to the mat. Calm down, starts from now, three minutes here. Now stay in your lizard pose, sink the hips down low. So we set up the pose properly, check, make sure right knee stacks on top of the right ankle or the right foot can come forward more if you're more flexible. Sliding the left toes back, all right? Half the right knee close to the right shoulder. This is the basic setup. So this is the form of the pose. And then start to feel. Feel how the body feels and see whether it can deepen the pose. Where should you feel in the body? You should be feeling the left thigh stretch. The right glutes, the right hips open as well. Hug the right knee closer and chest forward. So feeling a lot in the lower half of the body. Staying like this, sink the hips back and sink the hips down a little bit more. Now stay and pause. Try to find stillness in a pose. So then again, part you do not need to exert any force. Yeah, align gravity to do its work. Slowly opening up the body. I'll let you know when the time passes. So one minute has passed. If you have kind of deepened the pose, you can also lower down a little bit more. If you're on your palms, you can lower down a little bit more, but maybe just bending the elbows. Bring the right knee closer towards the right shoulder. Now option one, you can continue to stay here or you can deepen this pose. Start to push the right knee away from your shoulders this time. But keep dragging the outer right hip back. Now look. I float my ball of the right foot off the mat. So I come to the outer edge of the right foot. But I keep sink, I will sink the hips down and lower. And so you can press right knee towards the ball. I'm going to show you from the side. So you stay at where you are. So I look like this from the side here. So you can slide. Eventually you want to bring the left thigh closer down to the mat. Four arms down. Hold it here. Now everyone stay at where you are. If you'd like to close your eyes, go ahead. One more minute to go. And see how I can deepen the pose. Like, like, like what I always say in my yin yang class or even in the yin part of the class. Sometimes deepening the pose doesn't mean how it looks like. It can just mean you deepen the breath, working with the breath. That is also working to deepen the yoga practice as well. Yoga is not just about the poses. A lot of times we all think that oh we should look like this. There's a misconception there. Eventually in yoga we want to work inwards. We want to embrace our body, whatever that is. Acceptance, working towards acceptance. Just align the body to express itself freely, without judgments, without expectation, working inwards to find inner peace. I have talked a lot, time has passed. 10 more seconds to go. Notice how your hips are feeling. Notice how your left quadriceps are feeling right now. Last five, four, three, two, one. Now listen carefully, slow it down to come back. 
Round the right foot down first. If you come to the outer edge of the right foot, come to your palms first. All right. Then press into the palms. Walk the left knee in one step. Swing the right leg back. Step back to your downward facing dog. Oh, how does it feel for you? Bend the knees one by one. Stretch it out. Let's shift towards the left side. Now lift the left leg up to me like a dog. Step the left foot outside the left hand. Lower the right knee down. Now find the other side. Slide the right toes back here. And if you can go deeper, lower the forearms down to the mat. Now a lot of times you round the back by looking to the belly button. No, I want you to look forward slightly, chin away from your chest. So you want to keep the spine lengthened at all times. A lot of times for yoga, we focus a lot on the spine. We want to lengthen the spine, we don't want to round the back. So taking away the slouch from your normal day life, all right? Now again, set up the pose properly. Left knee stacks on top of the left ankle. Slide the right toes back and time begins now. Three minutes from here. So a lot can happen in the three minutes. A lot of things happening right now. So first, I think I talked to you a little bit to all my yogis before. We bring our BFF to the mat, right? That means, what does it mean BFF, best friend forever? No, it means breath. For the first B, work on the breath first. No breath, no life, no yoga. That's what my teacher taught me. So first, lower down the breath. The second F is focus. Focus on what? Focus on the alignment. Proper alignment before that. So make sure stack left knee on top of the left ankle. Hug the left knee, close the left shoulder for a start. And slide the right toes back. Once you have your breath, you focus on the alignment properly. The last F you work on feel. So feel how the body feels today. Okay, if I feel good today, I wish to deepen the pose. That's when I work on the neck. So feel how the body feels in this pose. You should be feeling the hips opening. Of the left foot stretching a little bit as I send the hips down a little bit lower. Front of the right thigh stretch as well. And deepen the pose if you feel good today. So bring your BFF, working on the breath. Focus on the alignment. And finally, feeling how the body feels today. And work with what you have. Now, one minute has passed. If you wish to deepen the pose, you know what to do. Come to the outer edge of the left foot. So, float the inner edge, inner arch of the mat. And press the left knee away from the shoulders this time. You should feel a deeper hips opening. And see, so you can slide the right toes back. Remember, like I show you from the side, the right thighs will bring, you should bring the right thighs closer to the mat. So stretching out the right quadriceps further. Again, keeping the lengthened spine, chin away from the chest and fold. Start to work with your breath, focusing on the alignment. Feel how the body feels. If you do not feel good today, and then if you come to the outer edge of the left foot, if you do not feel good, just come back. Take it easy. So for the yin class, listen to the body. Allow gravity to do its work. Try not to push. Sinking the hips down. And we feel the body slightly discomfort. Oh, it's painful. Let go of all these thoughts. Working towards acceptance, working inwards. Instead of resisting the pain, the discomfort, work on embracing them, creating space in the body, creating space in your mind to allow them to be there. And see how that works for you. It is a mindfulness practice. Time flies. Last 30 seconds. Now see where you can go. If you can't go any deeper, it's okay. Deepen your breath. Do what you can. Hold it here. For the last three. Last two. And one. Now palms, ground the left foot down first. If you open the left foot out. Now slowly, palms let down to the mat. And tuck the right toes, slide the right knee in one step. Press in the palms, step back. Find your down piece of up. Oh, look this how the legs feel now. Pat it up if you like. Bend it right left, right left. 
So that was our little pose. And this time, let's find pigeon pose and hold. Stretch your right leg up in the sleeve, point the right toes up. Now bring the right knee to touch the right wrist. And bring the right foot behind the left hand, slide it. Slide and sit down. So slide the left toes back. Now option, if you find it very difficult to sit and square the hips, you can always use a block. Alright? If you do not have any block, you can always use a pillow. Place it on the right bum. Just underneath the right sit bone. You can sit up taller, alright, if you like. Then flex the right foot. Now square the hips by drawing the outer right hip back and press the left hip forward. Squaring the hips as best as you can. If you, are, if you can open a little bit deeper, you can slide the right foot away from you. Bring the right shin parallel to the top of the mat. Flex the right foot, press the left hip down. Make sure the left hip is straight behind you. Look and check back, point the left toes back. Once you're ready, fall forward. Now same thing, three minutes here. I know three minutes, that's now. If you can lower the forehead down, go ahead. This is your, what we call the resting pigeon. You're resting in your pigeon pose. Now again, find your breath. Always come back to your breath. Focus on the alignment I've guided you through. See what it can kind of refine it a little bit more. So you make sure you have the proper alignment, you can stretch better. And the last part, you feel. So what you should be feeling in this pose, I think JJ, you should like it. We are stretching out the glutes here. And then um, foam as well for opening the hips. This is also a hips opening. As you melt the chest closer down towards the shins. Now notice how it is if you flex the foot just a little bit. The glutes might stretch a little bit more. But if you wish to make this a complete relaxed pose, just relax the toes. Left hip forward slightly. Now I'm not there to help you to get deeper into the pose. Sometimes I do that in class. So what I do is I'll usually press on towards the, your inner right thigh and press the left hip down a bit more. So do that on your own and just a little bit. So maybe pressing the left hip down a bit. If you can leave on the pose, maybe even chin on the mat. And working on the breath. Time flies past and fast. One minute has passed. Now see how you can deepen the pose. If the heel is very close towards the groin, you wish to deepen the pose, you can just shift the leg up slightly. So when the shin is parallel to the top of the mat, you are stretching out a little bit more. Close your eyes, soften the breath. Start to feel how the body feels. Now at the same time, like I said, work inwards, creating space, allowing things to be. Allowing things to be, what does it mean? That means just allowing things to come, letting go of expectations or judgments about your practice, about how you should look like, about what you should achieve from this. Letting, this, letting things be doesn't mean giving up or resigning. It means you work towards acceptance and try your best to create the best scenario. Of the that too, that means maybe working towards so-called working towards the pose in a better manner, it doesn't mean how it looks like, it may be just how you feel and off the mat, think about how you can apply it to your daily life. What does it mean by acceptance? It doesn't mean resigning to fate, it doesn't mean you don't plan from today onwards. It just means you do what you can to plan, but be flexible about your plan. Last 10 seconds, look at how time flies. So you can fall a little bit deeper for the last three, two, and one. Now gently release, please, palms flat down. Regurg the right foot back, step back, down with the feet up, pedal it out. 
the other side, stretch left leg up, hold the left toes up to the ceiling, and left knee, touch the left wrist, bring the left foot behind the right hand, and slide the right toes back, set up for your pigeon pose. Now if you need a block or your pillow to sit underneath, go ahead. Otherwise, keep pressing the right hip down, square the hips, and then walk forward. Left foot up higher if you choose to deepen the pose. Otherwise, keep the left heel closer towards your groin. Stretching it out. Three minutes begin from now. If you have any other props you'd like to rest at, you can always place a pillow under. You are working in the comfort of your own home. Walking the hands forward, just be comfortable. Now I promised some of you a um, shoulder stretch earlier on. I might not have the time to do a full shoulder stretch. So I'm going to add on from here. Alright. So I'd like you to walk the hands forward slightly. If you like, you can come to the finger pads. Now, thread the left hand underneath the right armpit. Now keep looking forward. Place the left palm flat down to the mat if you can. Then see you can place the chin on the left shoulder and press it down as you walk the right hand forward. Now option one, you can stay here if you are feeling a little bit, a lot more on the outer edge of the right left shoulder. Otherwise, walk the right hand towards the left side of the room. Think about stacking the right shoulder on top of the left, on the right armpit. Then press the chin down towards the right hand and look forward. So we're stretching out the external part, the outside. I'll work more on shoulders next week, promise you, alright? I think some of you requested for shoulders.
Deepen the pose, breathing deeply for last three. Two. One. If you're adding a shoulder stretch, slowly stretch hands forward here. Press into the palms. Tuck the right toes, step back, find your down foot easy. Don't pad it out. Notice how your hips, the glutes, and everything are feeling right now. Hold it here, pad it out. Now bend knees lower and sit down. Sit about to one side. Alright? Now I want to for you to find your butterfly pose, Badakanasana. So stretch your legs forward straight first. Then bend the knees out to the side. Bring your feet soles together to touch. Now see what can slide the feet so closer towards you. If it's tighter, you can slide the feet away from you. Our last stretching pose. So feet soles together. Chest for chin away from your chest and fold. We're just going to hold here for two minutes. Now see what can press the knees down a little bit lower, closer towards the mat or the ground. Actively pull into the feet. Now lifting from the earth. Actively pull into the feet or just relax up to you. Then slowly fall forward. You can place the more arms on the mat. If this is difficult for you, you're struggling here, grab something soft. Use that as a comfort. Place it on top and fall forward. You can think of it as comfort. I can use that as a prompt. First of all, I may not be able to touch the mat. If you lift it up higher, you can, then you can reach it down a little bit more. Press the knees down, open the hips. One more minute to go. See so if you can slide the hands for a little bit more, but not lifting the hips from the mat. Grounding the sit bone for way down. Maybe push the knee down a little bit, just a little bit. Stretching on the inner thighs and the hips. Last 30 seconds to go. So, just a quick check in on everyone. How's everyone doing for the class? Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. I hope your hips are happy. From the hips opening, I added in a little bit of glute stretch. Thank you, Phyllis. A little bit of shoulders. Maybe next week we can work on a little bit of shoulders opening. <laughs> Yummy, fun, good. All right. I only have 15 minutes remaining for this video. Thank you, JP. I'll work on the shoulders next week a little bit more. All right. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, everyone. All right, um, hold on, tune in to Pure Yoga Singapore for more classes today. The video is going to end soon, so I'm just going to end here for everyone. Stay healthy. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>